so we can jump in and start using the tools quickly. The first step is you're gonna kind of figure out what you wanna do and create a sketch of that. So that, that drawing you create, um, you're gonna turn it in with your project. And you have three options. One is to mill a piece of that oak, oak log out there into a slab. And then you're gonna trade the piece you milled for one that got milled six months ago so it's dry. Then you're gonna plane it down cross-cutting it, making sure that it's clamped and held down. And then, um, then I drilled a hole in it. I put radiuses on the corner and rounded it. And then I sanded it. And then this is a, um, a food grade oil to seal it. And actually before I did that, I did a laser engrave in there. So this is an oak cutting board with a hole in it with the natural edge. I did two, two different edges on this one. When there's a bark edge, and on this side I actually chiseled off the bark but kept the natural edge. So you could do a cutting board if you want this way, or if you want you could just do a house sign with the natural edge board. You could put your home address on there and put it out in front of your house. That's your second option. Or your third option is to do a river map like this. Here, really just getting started. You do want to use the mill once to actually mill a board. You're going to use the planer, the crosscut saw, the band saw, the drill press, the router for a round over, sanding, and then finish. Whole fact's high. So it's probably a thousand pound plus oak log, black oak. Get a little bit of height on that jack. Then we get the defensive line to push forward. in it but I think it's going to be okay and then once it was all done planing I checked the thickness with the calipers it was 0.93 I put in the laser cutter and I actually used the laser pointer to make sure it fit on here so now I'm all laser engraved on here to map the Tahoe and then the ski resorts around Tahoe I kind of like how that rotten pocket separates California and I'm, I'm really putting a lot of force on that clamp I'm holding on to it I'm far away, a good stand to start out. One pass. I want to make sure it's tangent on both sides. So it's flush up on both sides. I mark my radius. I mark this radius. The guard should be just a quarter inch above the height of the wood or thickness of the wood remembering using the release the lock nut or you'll break the gear in the rack and pin it my finger is never in the path of the blade i'm pretty far away from my line so remember to turn the central back on Redwood tree. This is actually the redwood tree at the start of the football gate. I don't know if you remember when that got cut down. Natural ledges, beautiful engrave, uh, food quality, oil over the top. This is an oak, a black oak that we took down. Uh, super nice, heavy block of wood. Uh, this is a pretty piece of redwood as well. Natural ledge on this side, really pretty grain. This is a Don redwood as well. Some of the first projects we did in here. 